The first fixture of the AFC Women's Asian Cup playoff gets underway as Vietnam and Thailand face off in Mumbai. Thailand will be hoping they can get off to a winning start before they take on Chinese Taipei on Thursday, while Vietnam are hoping a successful playoff campaign will result in their first ever ticket to a World Cup. And that's exactly how they get this party started. Vietnam on the front foot and into the lead as well. 19th minute, Huynh Nhu with a lovely finish laid up on a silver platter from Pham Hai Yin. And just like that, Vietnam on track and looking like they mean business. 24th minute, another chance for Vietnam and another goal. Nguyen Thi Tuet Lung with the delivery and Tai Thi Tao with the header past the keeper. And a 2-0 lead at the break for Vietnam. Things going their way so far into the second half. Chance for a third here off the woodwork. Great attempt there from Pham Hai Yin. But denied by the post as the one-way traffic continues here in Mumbai. Just a minute later, Vietnam powering forward yet again. It's their captain and number nine with a great goal. Huynh Nhu with a fantastic finish, but sadly the goal wouldn't count. VAR stepping in and offside the decision in the end. What a shame. Eightieth minute now. Can Thailand get a shot on goal here? Well, not a bad attempt there. Silawan Intami puts her boot through it, but drags it wide in the end. 85th minute. Vietnam looking for a third, very nearly find one as well. Nguyen Thi Tang Nha with a decent effort, but the deflection just takes it wide. 89th minute now. As we head into the closing stages of the game, fantastic run here. And Nguyen Thi Tang Nha brought down by Kanchanaporn Senkun. The uh, Thailand number two would see a red card as the last player back. So uh, Thailand down to ten. One last chance in stoppage time here. Nguyen Thi Tuet Lung with a decent effort. Unable to find the target. In the end though, Vietnam kick things off with a win in the playoff stage and will now look for a similar result and performance against Chinese Taipei on Sunday.